Hey there, Mr. Sharp. Greetings from downtown Naperville. Right now I'm standing next to one of the covered bridges. I hadn't planned on filming today's Newberry video here because I wanted to go to where the Chicago Bulls play, the United Center, and because I believe out front there's a pretty cool statue. And I thought, hey, that statue would go pretty well with this week's Newberry book, Shadow of a Bull. As I started driving there, heading toward the expressway, I thought, John, you're not gonna drive 40 miles and then 40 miles back to film a Newberry video. Now you know I have driven 200 miles to film a Newberry video, but I have too many things to do today. So I started thinking as I was driving back toward my house, where could I go in Naperville, close to home, one mile from home, that has a cool statue? And I came up with a statue, Mr. Sharp, that has nothing to do with this week's book, Shadow of a Bull. That's a pretty cool statue. So right now I'm standing next to Dick Tracy, Dick Tracy has been standing here in Naperville since 2010 looking at his watch. Now why in the world is there a statue of Dick Tracy in Naperville? Well, since 1983, the man who has been illustrating Dick Tracy lives here in Naperville. So this is a way to honor a local resident as well as Dick Tracy. So let's see his view. All right, he has a view of across the river and actually the public library is right there. Now, I had to wait a while, Mr. Sharp, for people to leave to film, so I'm going to move down the river, <laughs> and when we move down the river a ways, we'll start talking, I'll start talking about Shadow of a Bull, as well as the books in my bag. So here we go, I'm going to go under the bridge. It's a little chilly right now, Mr. Sharp. It's about 43 degrees. As I said, the public library's on the other side right there. You can see it. All right, let's go up a little ways, Mr. Sharp. Maybe we'll sit up in here and we will talk about books. This is the Wall of Faces. Oh, this is a September 11th memorial. I've never actually been over here. All right, let's go. I don't want to sit up in here. All right, this is the beauty of a one-take rule. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's go over here. <laughs> Right here, Mr. Sharp. All right, let's talk about Shadow of a Bull. It took me a long time to read this short book because I've been really tired lately, Mr. Sharp. I can read for a bit and then I fall asleep. I did not set my alarm, though, with this book like I did for another book. I thought this book was interesting, though, because I bet many kids today can relate to this book, especially kids who feel like they have a lot of pressure on them from their parents to become whatever their parents are. So let's say if my dad was a doctor and I felt like when I grew up I had to be a doctor because my dad was a doctor and my dad's dad was a doctor and my dad's dad was a doctor and my mom was a doctor and my mom's mom was a doctor, I would feel like I was always in the shadow of my parents and I had to grow up to, do, to be that. And that's how Manolio feels in this book that he has to grow up to be like his father, a famous, a famous bullfighter. And his internal struggle throughout the whole book, I think would be something really interesting to talk to kids about and that kids could relate to. I did feel, however, Mr. Sharp, that the book dragged quite a bit, that the whole book was about his, his trepidation and his, his fear of becoming a bullfighter because he knew it, was the, it wasn't for him. I liked, though, that he stood up for himself in the end and that he does something really great for his friend. Uh, but again, I thought it was a little bit too long because it, it just kind of stuck on the same point the whole time. My second thing that I would have liked to have seen is I would have liked this book better, I believe, if it had been in first person. I would have liked to, to have heard directly from him. I wish we could ask the author uh, why the book is in third person, just like when my students asked Linda Urban why she wrote Hound Dog True in third person and not first person, and she had a really good response to that, that she said we would have gotten really tired of the character and we would have probably not liked her as much. I don't think that would have been the case though in this book. So four star book, 
but my my two issues that I had with that I wish um, I, I I wish that what I wish those things had been different. But all right, let's move on because my hands are cold, Mr. Sharp. And I have here my cool new bag uh, for a very fun picture book called Doggone. It's my ARF bag, and I'm sporting it here in downtown Naperville. And let's see what's inside of my bag today, Mr. Sharp. I have Gary Schmidt's new book, What Came From the Stars. I'm going to try to read this book soon because once 2013 comes, I doubt I will go back to any 2013 books. A picture book I'm excited for you to read, Mr. Sharp, is Had Fun, Molly Lou Mellon. This book is just as good as the first Molly Lou Mellon book, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Molly Lou Mellon is, I believe, just the most adorable character. And I believe you and your students are going to eat this book up, Mr. Shoe. I mean, Mr. Sharp. I just called you Mr. Shoe. All right, the next book that you and I both love, The Chicken Problem, I had a lot of fun sharing the book trailer with my students and I encouraged them to put it on hold and many of them did. Uh, this is a very fun early reader, Rabbit and Robot, and my students are finding this book to be absolutely hilarious. It's a little bit in, in the tradition of uh, Frog and Toad, Ling and Ting, and some other characters who go very, very well together in an early reader. Uh, here's the book that's the the subject of my bag that's on my bag dog gone very fun picture book that is fun to read aloud to kindergartners and first graders uh, this is a book I'm gonna read over the weekend I've not read it yet boot and shoe I'm gonna reread the quiet place over the weekend because the last time I read this book the first time I read this book I was not in a quiet place so that's what's inside my bag mr. sharp I hope you are having a wonderful day and I now can go watch your video because I am about 12 hours late posting my Shadow of a Bull video because I just could not get the book done on time. So I'm gonna wish you a wonderful day and I'm gonna go and I thank you for listening to me ramble. Have a great day, Mr. Sharp, and happy, happy reading, sir.